Okay. So now let's look at numbers. Is there another different color marker laying around? It's going to be close yeah. by. We're going to look at the imaginary axis now. So what are these numbers of the form when we say A plus B I? Zero plus A I. Or, or B, B, I. B I. All right, so we got, thanks, we found purple. All right, so we're going to look, look at these numbers. Let's see where they go. All right, which, which, which is the first number you want to look at on the imaginary axis? Well, you could look at I. Okay. Now, when you look at I under this map C squared, what do you see? Well, well, I I squared would go to negative one. Okay. So I this marker is not great, but that's all right. I goes to minus one. Yep. Because I squared is negative one. All right. And then that means that like all the I don't know that you'd call it positive, but sort of all the numbers that are higher than this axis, oh. all the imaginary numbers that are higher than the real axis, uh -huh. seem, it looks like they go to the negative numbers. Well, we've got to be careful. We're only looking at the, at the imaginary axis, so we're yeah. not looking at all the numbers. Yeah, but I mean uh, just the imaginary numbers. The imaginary the numbers, axis. so i goes to minus 1. No. What about 2i? Where does that go? 2i will... Up here, 2i. Get, can you grab a different marker? This one's not so good. Mm -hmm. Grab a couple. Um, Two i goes where? Negative four. That's right. Two i up here to goes to negative four. I goes to minus one. Negative. All right. What are some other numbers on the imaginary axis you could like look at? Root two i. All right. Root two i would go to minus 2. Ah, okay. So if here was minus 4, here was minus 1, so I guess I'd better... I'm not scaling it quite right. Negative, that's right. Negative i will go to 1. Negative i would go to 1. Why? B. Um, I, I squared is negative 1, so negative i squared will go to 1. Okay, let's take a look. Minus i times minus i. That's minus i squared, right? All right what, yeah. what happens there? Negative times a negative goes to a positive. Okay. But then... So the two negative signs okay. make a plus, and I'm left with plus i squared. That'll be still negative 1. Ah. All right, so ne negative i is a little confusing. Where does negative i go? It still will go to... Negative one. All right. Are you sure? Because you first you first you thought it was just going to go to one. Well, then these negative signs cancel out. Yeah, they cancel out. So negative i goes to minus one. What do you th where do you think negative two i goes? Um, negative four. Negative four. So negative two i goes to negative four. So what are we seeing? We're on, sort of seeing the same thing. On so the negative we just axis. Hit, I mean, we uh, all the imaginary numbers just hit the negative axis. So uh -huh. two imaginary numbers hit every number on the n every negative real number. Every negative real number gets hit by two numbers from the imaginary axis. So this is so far fairly interesting. We have the real axis goes to the positive reals. The imaginary axis goes to the negative reals and, and zero goes to zero. But nothing will square. Nothing so far squares to go on this axis here. Ah! Very nice observation. We haven't found anything that squares to produce something on the imaginary axis. But just from, maybe we can do that next. Just from what you see so far, what do you think this map is starting to look like? Well, it's, it looks like a line right now. Looks like a line right now. Well, I mean, it's, there's it's definitely... Staying, it's, so far, it's, it's just staying flat. So far, it's just staying flat. So it won't really be a... It's not curving up yet. Okay. I don't think it's going to stay flat, though. Alright. Uh -huh. It's like... If we look at something like 1 plus i squared, okay. 
Hmm. And the four. All right, let's look at, let's look, let's do that. We probably have time on this video. What are we at? Five minutes? Yeah. Oh, well, let's go to the next video then. One plus I squared.